celebrating Mabon with the Wildling tribe. The story of Mabon, Kiluch and Olwen. Mabon is named after the Celtic god Mabon at Modrob. He was the god of youth, music and freedom. Mabon sounds like a cool guy. Mabon was heroic and mysterious, but he was thrown in jail as a child in a secret place. In the story, Kiluch wants to marry Olwen, an extremely beautiful goddess. The problem is that Kiluch has to complete a lot of almost impossible tasks to be able to marry Olwen. Olwen's father, Espadaden, who was the chief giant, set the tasks, thinking Kiluch would never be able to complete them. Luckily for Kiluch, he is able to get help from his cousin, King Arthur. Yes, that King Arthur with the knights and the famous round table. King Arthur and his knights join Kiluch on his quest to complete all the tasks. They battle magical and monstrous beings and face lots of challenges. One of the knights is Kiluch's cousin and he is a brave warrior. His name is Gorai. Gorai helps Kiluch to complete all the tasks and defeat the monstrous beings with his warrior skills. One of the tasks is to capture the Tur Truth, a magical and monstrous boar that was once a human prince. The prince was called Tared, but he was transformed into a swine by a witch's curse. His seven children were turned into piglets. There was a big problem. Tur Truth could only be found by a special hunting dog called Dreedwin. And Dreedwin only listened to Mabon at Modron. But remember, nobody knew where Mabon was because he was thrown into a secret jail. They need to find Mabon, so they ask the stag, the owl, the blackbird, the eagle and the salmon for help. The salmon on the lake Sin Siu tells Kiluch that as it swam upstream, it could hear Mabon imprisoned in the walls of Gloucester Castle. Mabon is freed by brave King Arthur and his knights. They all go to capture Turf Truth together. They have to battle giants and witches and travel through magical lands. They finally manage to capture Turf Truth, but Turf Truth gets wounded badly. Just before he dies, Turf Truth tells Kiluch about the comb and scissors he needs to find to complete another of us for that den's tasks. They have to get the items from between the ears of two of Turk Truth's piglet children. The task is almost impossible, but they manage to do it and complete all the tasks set by Olwen's father, the giant. Kiluch marries Olwen and defeats her father, who gets a bit grumpy about the whole thing. This story comes from the Celtic stories told in Wales in the Times of Wisdom. It is important to keep the stories alive so they are not forgotten. At Mabon, we remember the great wedding and feast of Kiluch and Olwen and give thanks for the harvest and all the gifts of fruit and vegetables from Mother Earth. People make wreaths of leaves and berries, have Mabon fires and feasts from the harvest as they prepare for the winter months. They feel grateful to Mother Earth for providing such wonderful food and to each other as well. Kiluch and Olwen would not have been able to get married if they didn't have King Arthur and his knights to help them complete the impossible tasks. It is good to have people to rely on and help us when we find things difficult in our lives too. Life gets better when we all help each other to remember the wildling wisdom and have fun, just like Arthur and the knights helped Kiluch. Blessed Mabon, from all of us in the Wildling Tribe.